think about it, show me what you got. Everybody sing. Let's do the VIC, the possibility. Anyone want to sing? Let's do the VIC, the possibility. You got it, you got it. One time. Everybody and whistle this tune right now. I forgot the words of the song. <laughs> That's incredible. Come on, everybody, put your hands together. This will be fun. I'm telling you. Come on. Are you ready, young lady? The love of my baby. Love of my baby. The love of my baby. Love of my baby. But today's program is called Let's Do the VIC. The VIC stands for this. The V stands for vision. Um, which I heard people talking about this morning. The I stands for inspiration, and the C stands for create. So let's do the VIC. And back 30 years ago, I didn't know it, but I was actually starting my business, even though I did work for somebody, and I did sing other people's songs. I think it's all about, as you grow and you realize the burning desire inside of you, is to sing your own song. So let's start out with this. We got Snap your fingers if you're feeling good right now. Who's feeling good right now? Clap your hands if you got that dance inside. Are you ready, ladies? Shake your body, everybody show me what you got. Shake your body, shake your body, shake your body. Shake your body, show me. You're having too much fun up there. <laughs> let's do the VIC, the possibility. Come on, everybody. Let's do the VIC, the possibility. That burning desire that kept knocking and saying, Victor, there's more to you than this job of graphic design, which is a great thing, but maybe it's just not meant for you. So I quit my job within three months, my second job, which doesn't look so good on resumes, as you all know. But what I did was I wanted to take some time, and I went to a school in Glenville, Illinois. And I helped out as an aide in the music department, which you can tell I love, in the art department, which I have a background in graphic design, and the PE department. I love to play baseball. I was having a great time. And one day, a little boy came up to me, and in the meantime, I had said to the principal, you know what, I would love, I would be honored if I could put on a show for your students. Let me show them what Mr. Piccini does on the weekends at different nightclubs. So he said, go ahead, you know, keep it clean, which of course I did. And he said, go ahead and sing your songs. And have. So I had 300 children come to this assembly. But like the week before, this little boy with, with uh, Down syndrome came up to me by the name of Matt. I will never forget him. He said, Victor... Uh, he actually said, Mr. Piccini, can I sing with you on Friday? I said, sure, Matt. What do you want to sing? So we practiced the song, Johnny Be Good, at recess. I'd bring the words out to him. He'd be out there singing with me. He comes up with me on stage, does his song, and all the kids give him a standing ovation. And he then put his hands up in the air like he had been a winner at something that he just never thought he would probably do before. How many of you think that takes a lot of courage to do something like that? Yes. And here's a little fifth grader doing that. Someone came up to me and said, Victor, you have something here. It was actually a teacher. Why don't you go to schools and educate students through your music? I said, but I don't have any music. You know, I'm, I'm singing other people's songs. And that's when they inspired me to start my own business. And what happened was, ladies, the songs kind of came through me in, in the form of a poem, and then I met... Did you ever realize when you're doing something that you love, the right people show up to help you? All of a sudden, these musicians came into my life and they started writing music for me. You got that dance inside. Are you ready? Shake your body, everybody. Show me what you got. Shake your body, shake your body. Shake. Show me what you got. Now, everybody sing real simple. Let's do the VIC, the possibility. Real simple, everybody. The creation process. And I love this because I think the VIC stands for taking action. How many of you believe that in your business? You have to take action. I mean, let's, let's say we had an artist here. I love this analogy. We have an artist here. We have a great easel with a great canvas. And this artist is standing right here, paintbrush in hand. And we, we ask this artist, could you please paint us a masterpiece? And they just sit here for an hour and expect it to just happen. Well, nothing happens unless... Albert Einstein says, nothing happens until something moves. So you've got to take the paintbrush and you've got to start working it. That's with everything in life. It's with our businesses. We have to take action. Hi, my name is Tony Van Schoik, and I'm a director with Gigi Hill Bags. And I just wanted to say, this is, I've seen a lot of national speakers, and I saw Victor today, and I thought he was very inspiring. Um, you just felt happy when you were in the room. And again, you know, your business is all about vision and your dream, and he definitely delivers that message. Hi, I'm Harper Nielsen. I am a photographer, and I had a crazy morning this morning. Knew we were having a guest speaker here today. 
thought about blowing it off, but I am so glad I didn't. Victor was so inspiring, and out of all of the speakers I've seen, and I've seen quite a few, he is right up there with his entertainment as well as his insight into people's relationships and their businesses. Hi, I'm Mary Miranda with Neighborhood Network. I came here to, today to hear Victor speak. I've seen him sing in clubs, but I was so inspired, I didn't know he had this kind of talent. He has passion, his message is from the heart, and he totally inspired me and I think everyone in the room. And he makes it fun. He's a great guy. Shake your body and show me what you got. Everybody sing.